are impossible or improbable. This word has many meanings, but it would have been impossible in 1979 to know that the impact of Dan Okren's interpretation of the word would have on the world today. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how fantasy sports began, fantasy sports through the years, and the booming industry that fantasy sports are today. Fantasy. Imaginative conceptualizing. That is what Dan Okren, a baseball enthusiast, dreamt of in 1979 when he came up with Artistry League Baseball. The idea was simple. 25 players, 16 position players, and 9 pitchers. If you measure on stats like home runs, hits, stolen bases, batting average, wins, ERA, saves. He took the idea to all of his journalist friends at a little New York restaurant called La Rotisserie Francois. So that's how it all began. The word spread, and soon teams like the Flambés, the Goners, the Wolfgang, the Steinbrenners, the Fluttermice, all joined the league, and on, on, on April 13th, 1980, the first fantasy draft was held. It wasn't long after that fantasy took over the lives of its players. The typical day for a fantasy player was spent with 45 minutes to an hour looking at box scores from the night before, 15 minutes or 20 minutes doing their actual job, and then they'd spend the rest of the day plotting trades. So, pretty much took over their whole lives. Uh, eventually, this hard work paid off for the Gather Swag Goners as they won the first fantasy league and it became tradition to pour tomato juice on the head of the winner. And thus, the first fantasy draft ended. Fantasy. A hallucination. It didn't take long for fantasy sports to take off. The members of the league wrote articles in popular magazines and newspapers, and they even attempted to turn it into a business. So they held, like, conventions for other fantasy nerds to come and meet them, and they tried to sell, like, t-shirts and stuff, but basically they couldn't turn it into a business because they just tried to use rotisserie, the word for rotisserie, and then it just became fantasy sports. So it's kind of sad that, as big as it is today, they never really made a dime off the entire thing. So uh, each year, fantasy seemed to gain popularity, and it brought fans closer to the game, which is a big deal. So in 2008, the city of New York made a proclamation of appreciation for the founders, and uh, basically just for their contribution to sports as a whole. Fantasy, a visionary idea. So today, fantasy is a booming industry with 25 million players in America, and they gross over $4 billion annually, according to ESPN's 30 for 30 Silly Little Games. Uh, fantasy isn't just baseball anymore. It's football, basketball, college sports, even golf or fishing. So it's really taking off. Um, there's even a Netflix series about it called The League. It's basically a bunch of diehard football fans come together, and they're just crazy. Um, that's in the seventh season now. Fantasy websites such as like FanDuel and DraftKings, those are the two giants. Um, they made $304 and $622 million in 2014 alone. So it's a really big industry. Uh, in summary, fantasy players past and present are faced with the same serial addiction and need to show superior knowledge of sports as the creator. All in hopes of something that may be impossible or improbable. Fantasy sports really are an awesome concept that I, for one, can admit I'm hooked on. And I think everyone should know how awesome it is.